Kung Fury. It's a game based off a movie, which is based on 80s movies, based off games, and it's awesome. What originally seemed like a cheap cash grab stemming from the hype of a hilarious movie turned out to be an addictive and overall very entertaining experience on its own. To start off, the controls are amazingly simple. Attack left, and attack right. There's no moving around or choice of attack, but there are tons of different button combinations to attack, all going to the left or to the right. For example, I found it preferable to use A and X buttons to attack while Andrew used the thumbstick. This may sound extremely simple, and to be honest, it is, but in its simplicity comes a difficult to master sense of timing and strategy. It's easy to get the hang of it, but quickly it proves to be difficult with multiple enemies and misjust attack distances. Once you realize what you're doing though, it's easy to see any missteps as being your own fault. The nice thing that both myself and Andrew thought was pretty neat was the lack of a tutorial. Sure, with such a button layout, it is simple enough to understand quickly, but this allowed you to discover the different enemies and find out how they attack on your own, which overall I thought was pretty cool. Along with the nice controls is an appealing graphical layout that features retro-style sprites with a CRT screen overlay. Coupled with smooth animations and a neat variety of enemies ranging from Nazi soldiers, kung fu robots, and genetically engineered female warriors, you'll have a good time just watching the mayhem unfold. With every hit landed, the screen flashes and the enemy gets destroyed into various bits. It's hilarious when you punch a baddie in the balls and his head explodes, expelling four or more brains. The soundtrack is also very nice and has this authentic arcade sound, which goes nicely with all the other sound effects. The goal of the game is actually quite simple. It harkens back to the retro games in which the only goal is to get a high score. The scoreboard features characters from the movie and actually poses to be pretty challenging to progress through. I would have liked to see an online leaderboard to rank against everyone, but sadly there are no online interactions anywhere in the game. Another downside to the leaderboard is that there is no ability to add multiple scores, where only your highest score is kept using your Steam ID. So you can't really square off with friends in the traditional sense where you input names and conquer one another on the scoreboard. Overall, Kung Fury is quite a fun experience. It's silly, easy to play, and just overall a lot of fun. It won't be in run for Game of the Year anytime soon, but it's definitely worth your time. It's with that, and I'm giving it an A-, with the only real downside being a lack of online leaderboard or true local scoreboard. I'm Connor Amaya, and thanks for watching my review of Kung Fury. For more geeky, nerdy, fun stuff, subscribe to us here on YouTube or check out ubercrit.com. But, for now, here's an extended look at the gameplay of Kung Fury.